Hello, I'm Isadora. I work in the Visual Studio Debugger team. And today I'm going to show you some AS.NET WebAssembly apps and how does it work with Hot Reload, which is super exciting. So let's dive in. Here, of course, I don't have anything implemented because that's what we are about to do in this demo. So I just have this to-do header right here. And maybe I can just start by tweaking that for something else. So this is the first thing that I can do with Hot Reload. So maybe I can do load from here. And then if I just save that, you can see that it's actually just applied to the web page right here. So I didn't have to do any recompiling or see any loading bars. I have just seen right away. And maybe I can do something else. Maybe I can do an emoji because I like emojis. And then there we go, right here. I can already see it. Um, so maybe I can do something more interesting than just rewriting text. Uh, and one of the things is that I have this collection of images that I know that are there. And maybe I can just iterate over each of them. And then I can do something like this. And maybe I can just show their name. <laughs> and it's still sloppy because I have, I'm just printing out the names. Uh, but the idea is that I can just try it right away and then this just improves the experience so much. Um, let's say that I want to do even something fancier and I actually want to add a child component right here. And then I have this image like list item and then I'm just going to show for each of the images, I'm going to list it out. And then it doesn't help as much, but now I have this child component and then it's printing each of them and then I can do whatever I want with that child component. Uh, and you can see right here, this is the razor file for that. So let's say that I have the name right here, but this is not what I'm happy with. So maybe I can add just some CSS into it. And what I have on my side is that I actually have the Tailwind CSS library. So maybe I can just use some of that. So let's say that I wanted the background to be white. And then suddenly the background is white right there. And maybe I want some merging or maybe some padding. Or maybe I even want some getting getting fancier so I can do some shadows, larger shadows. And then you can see right there, it's all being applied. So maybe I also want something uh, better for the name itself. So maybe I can have some sort of header right here. And then I can just change how that looks like. So it can be just a larger text, text or that. And then maybe I can have some description even for each of those. So I can do like something with a light font and then I can just have the image description right here. And then, then if I just save that and then suddenly I have all these descriptions right here for each of them. And then finally, I just have something else that I really wanted to do is just adding the image itself. So maybe I can do something like Then I'm just showing the relative URL for each of those images. And then suddenly I have the images for each of these items right here. But in either case, this is not a CSS demo. So this is a hot reload one. So something that I can just go right away is just copy and pasting something that I have that I know it works quite well. And the whole idea of this is just showing how fluid it is to actually make those changes and seeing what that looks like. And I actually also have something for image list item right here that it actually makes it quite smoother. So I can just paste it. And then suddenly I have all these fancy pop-up icons right here. And I even have the updated date for each of those images so I can keep a track on. And yeah, so for the last part of this demo, I just have this right here, which just shows the, the text for each of the images when they were updated. And maybe instead of just calling that, I can call some code that I have right here, which is the humanize let's modify it method. And then suddenly I have the days that they have been added that I just call right here. And if you look at the implementation, all that it does is just getting the date time and then calculating that into total days. Uh, so if I want to change that, for example, for total hours, and then I can just say hours above. 
I can actually just change from days to hours and this is all modifying code and then, yeah. And actually I'm not happy with these changes. I would rather just have this as I had before. So I can just tweak back and then I'm in whatever state I was before. So that's pretty much what I had for the demo. Uh, I hope that you could get an insight from what Hot Reload is capable of and you can actually incorporate that into your projects with VS 2022.